What's up, YouTube family? It's been a minute. I had to take care of some things, but I'm back, uh, back with some more reviews. Uh, as you can see in front of you, uh, this fragrance is from the house of Antonio Banderas. And this is, the fragrance is Blue Seduction for Men. All right. Now, this particular fragrance is is considered an oriental fougere. Um, this is definitely a summer scent, a spring summer scent. I wouldn't categorize this as something that you would wear in uh, in the winter time or in the cold. Um, it, it's, it, it, it appears to be something along the lines of uh, Versace Mano Fresh. So um, I heard about this, you know, and kind of in the community, community here and there, uh, people talking about uh, Antonio Banderas fragrances and particularly Blue Blue Seduction seemed to pop up a whole lot. So I'm like, you know, let me check this out and see what's up. And so I ordered it and bought it. And you can get this pretty cheap. This is a, a, a cheap but good fragrance, I would say. You know, it's it's this is a, what you see in front of you is a, a 200 mil bottle. I got that for $23. Okay. <laughs> so you do the math. Uh, so it's very affordable. Um, I would say age range, I would say, mm, I would say young all the way up. I mean, I don't think I can put an age on this. Um, um, it is youthful. I mean, you know, it is vibrant, um, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's juvenile. And if you know what I mean, uh, because this, this is really, if you know what Versace Mano Fresh is like, then you will kind of understand the ballpark of what this fragrance is, is in. Uh, they don't smell identical. Uh, but you can tell that this definitely is someone going for. I don't. I don't know what the perfumer, who the perfumer is, but I can tell that they definitely were going after uh, copying Mano Fresh on this one. Uh, so the notes in this one is uh, bergamot, cassis, mint, melon, and that melon does come out on the opening. Uh, cardamom, nutmeg, ocean accords, apple, uh, cappuccino accord, oak moss, woods, and musk. Now. Supposedly the cappuccino note comes out in the dry down. I really don't get that cappuccino note. It just it's just a very uh, uh, sweet aquatic fragrance that reminds me of Versace Mano Fresh. Uh, which one smells better? I can't really say because they both smell really really good. I mean this is I honestly would say if you don't have the money for Versace Mano Fresh, buy this. You can't go wrong. You get basically Mano Fresh, uh, a Mano Fresh feeling from something that costs half the price for twice the amount, basically. So, I mean, I like it. I mean, it's not uh again, it's still kind of cool. You know, we've had spurts of uh, heat here and there, and I, I've been able to test it out. So it, it definitely works well in high heat. Um, you know, again, it has very great, uh, good sillage. You know the scent trail on this is is uh, what's really nice. Um, I think if you spray it on, you're probably going to think, "Oh, I don't have any more on," but you really actually do. It still stays with you for a while. It's it, it, it's probably one of some what, what from what I hear, it's uh, one of Antonio Banderas's longest lasting fragrances. So <laughs> you go figure. They say most of them don't last more than an hour or two. I don't know, but. This lasted, uh, I, I didn't really count, but it lasted enough for me to say, okay, it's a keeper. <laughs> so um, I would say try it. Definitely, if you if you like Mano Fresh, Versace Mano Fresh, try it. If you don't have Versace Mano Fresh, try it. But it's definitely in that ballpark, you know, um, Kenneth Cole Blue as well. Uh, and um, my scent of the day I forgot to talk about uh, was B Bulgari Aqua. Um, well, that today... It's um I don't know if I got it in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's grown on me as well. Um people like to con compare that to uh Dylan Blue and Blue de Chanel, but I think it has its own unique uh uh smell to it, especially the aquatic notes uh kind of set set it apart. Uh but it's it's definitely a banger. Uh, but anyway, back to blue seduction. Yes, this definitely is a buy, a must buy, I would say. Um, you see, I like the bottle. It's just a nice square design, nothing fancy. I think some of these guys go overboard with their bottle designs, but 
you know, it, it, this one will do the job. Um, so I think you can trust me in that when the summer rolls around and you get this fragrance, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to, you, I, I doubt you're going to dislike the scent. It's a very crowd pleasing scent. Uh, again, it's very tropical. The melon and the apple come out greatly uh, in the opening. The melon and the apple, you can really smell those pretty strong in the opening. So it smells really fruity once you first spray it. So it smells really good. Um, as as the day progresses or the time progresses, you'll get whiffs of it here and there. And uh, I think you might have to reapply maybe, I don't know, maybe at the six hour mark. Uh, but still, you know, if you get, you can get a 200 milliliter bottle for $23, spray away, man, spray away. So, you know, this one is definitely, I'd say, a good buy. It's a cheap but good fragrance. Um, you won't be won't won't be disappointed, especially again if you are someone who likes Versace Mano Fresh. I think Versace Mano Fresh is quality wise, of course, uh, just t a tad bit better than this. I, I wouldn't say so much. I mean, this is actually a pretty good fragrance. I mean, I don't again, I don't know, I don't have much history on Antonio Banderas uh, fragrances. You know, this is a very first one that I've purchased. Uh, so I can't really speak for any of the other ones, but this one is a banger. This one is good. I'm going to always probably keep a bottle of this. I like it that much. Uh, I'll have to throw it in there with in that pile with my uh, Versace Mano Fresh and Azaro Chrome uh, Sport uh, and Kenneth Cole Blue. Like those are kind of in that same little ballpark of like a fruity type, different type scent. Uh, summer scent, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it, it's it's definitely a buy. So uh, just want to bring this one to you. And and again, my uh, scent of the day was Bulgari, Bulgari Aqua Prome Atlantique. And uh, that's all I have for now. So got a couple more that I got. I need to review. So I'll be bringing it to, bringing it to you guys shortly. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Like. Dislike, subscribe, whatever you're going to do. I'm going to keep bringing it to you. I uh, just wanted to bring you something uh, that just came across my desk and I've had a chance to try it out and uh, I think it's a banger. So thanks for stopping by and again, come back again. Peace.